greatest hoax I think has been around in, in, in many, many years, if not hundreds of years, has been this uh, hoax on the environment and global warming. You notice they don't call it global warming. Now, what is your stance on global warning, warming? Man caused? Partially, but I think the radical environments, environments have taken it over. Just recently, uh, some major publications and universities have made some reports on this that, to me, are very, very strong. And these are scientists that says that it way, it's been way overblown. So uh, I read about that in, in the book, but I think that uh, the environmentalists take advantage of it. But to say that man doesn't contribute, but the statistics that show long, long term, hundreds if not thousands of years, we're not about, uh, you, you know, to, to, to melt. Uh, besides, one thing that really made me wonder about this, when they took some of these same scientists now that talked about a warming trend, they were worrying about an ice age 30 or 40 years ago. That made me wonder, you know, what's going on here? But uh, and what are you going to do about the volcanoes? They are all uh, contributing factors to global warming. Uh, and what are you going to do about the volcanoes? They are all uh, contributing factors to global warming. Uh, and what are you going to do about the volcanoes? They are all uh, contributing factors to global warming. Excuse for even further expansion of the government. About a month ago they had, and this was not in the middle of winter, this was springtime, and they had this meeting planned in Washington, D.C. Maybe you did see this in the news uh, for this major meeting on global warming. And we had a very late, very severe a cold front come through and had to be canceled because there was ice and snow in Washington, D.C. So it was sort of a thing that uh, we, we chuckled about. But uh, I think I think some of the, uh, you, you know, the emissions uh, are, you know, a contributing factor. But I also think there's tremendous science to show that, uh, you know, the earth gets warm and the earth gets cold and we're through cycles. And, and like you said, I think there's pretty strong uh, scientific evidence that these past 10 years have not necessarily been all that bad. I know here, just from our personal experience here in Texas, in my last couple winters here have been pretty darn chilly. I worried about my tomatoes freezing this year. So I, I just don't think that this is, uh, uh, you know, a done deal. I, I don't think they can continue to use this, although... Uh, Sometimes you look at the uh, the news and what's going on on the House floor, and they want you to accept it. And if you don't, then you're some type of a monster. That's that right. They say get. it's a foregone conclusion. Yeah. Well, Congressman, I've seen the numbers. I know you study the numbers. Uh, the UN's own reports claim that humankind is contributing to the increase in temperature by three percent. The rest is volcanoes and the ocean and uh, uh, you know other creatures that exhale carbon dioxide that plants breathe. And then it turns out the UN's own buoys and weather stations falsified the data to show that there was actually an increase. There's actually been a decrease because the sun just went into a cooling cycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Just look at uh, how much attention and credibility was given to Al Gore, you know, and the money he made over all that. And, and people, he gained a lot of he gained a lot of uh, supporters through that, but hopefully truth will win out in the end. And uh, well, he trades the carbon credits. I mean, he he owns the big company that does it. <laughs> but people don't want to listen to that. Some people just buy into that. Yeah, he, he's the only one that's concerned about humankind, and and he's going to save us from it. But hopefully truth will win out in the end. And uh, well, he trades the carbon credits. I mean, he he owns the big company that does it. <laughs> but people don't want to listen to that. Some people just buy into that. Yeah, he, he's the only one that's concerned about humankind, and, and he's going to save us from it.